today we will discuss the question answers from chapter 4 health and hygiene first question is from short and precise section show the following processes in the form of flow charts first number one is composting so organic waste like leaves grass when they get mixed up with soil water air carbon dioxide compost is produced Number 2 sewage treatment waste water first is the step is screening next is grit and sand removal next clarification of water tank aeration of clarified water natural cleaning up disinfecting by chlorination to distribution system for use number b give reasons for the following statements one Health is not merely an absence of disease or infirmity. This is because health is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely an absence of disease. Number 2. Growing children need more carbohydrates and proteins as compared to old people. This is because carbohydrates provide them energy for their various activities and proteins help their bodies to grow. Number 3. Junk food has more calories but little nutritional value. Junk food has more calories but little nutritional value because it is rich in carbohydrates, fats and salts which have high calories. Number 4. A person cannot remain fit if he is clean but his surroundings are dirty. A person cannot remain fit if he is clean but his surroundings are dirty because it affects the overall health of the people. Number 5. Diabetic patients should avoid food rich in starch and sugar. In diabetes, the body is neither able to use sugar nor store it in the liver. Therefore, the level of sugar in the blood rises and it is passed out in the urine. That is why diabetic patients should avoid food rich in starch and sugar. Next, answer in short one. Why is water essential for our body? Water is essential for our body because of the following reasons. It is used to produce digestive juices, carries nutrients and oxygen to cell. It is used in the excretion of soluble. It is used in the excretion of soluble waste. It will be waste. It is involved in the maintenance of body temperature. Number 2. What happens if a person does not eat a balanced diet? If a person does not eat a balanced diet, he or she may suffer from deficiency diseases or obesity. Number 3. What do you mean by calories? A calorie is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of water by 1 degree Celsius. Number 4. What are minerals? Write a few sources of food rich in minerals. A mineral is a chemical element required as an essential nutrient by organisms to perform functions necessary for life. Number 5. Mention the symptoms of uremia. The symptoms of uremia includes fatigue, lethargy, loss of mental concentration, dry and flaky skin, and loss of appetite. Number 6. What do you mean by community hygiene? Community hygiene is a cooperative effort to bring greater health and prevention of diseases to a group of people living near one another. So students, we till here we have finished short and precise section. In our next video, we will discuss from at length. Thank you.